Hey, what's up guys? It's Fatty here with another Master League video here today. And we are going to be showcasing a level 50 Palkia and pairing it with a team of Mewtwo and a level 51 Excadrill. So for today's showcase is going to be mostly focused on Palkia. I'm going to be running it with a moveset of Dragon Tail, Aqua Tail, and Fire Blast. Really excited. This Pokemon is really underrated in the Open Master League. And before we start, please remember to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on the notification bells. But without further ado, let's get right into the battles. So here for the first battle, we are going to be going off against a Mewtwo. So here is my strategies for facing off against Mewtwo. If you uh, face off against a Mewtwo lead, what you want to do is you want to Dragon Tail down its HP as much as possible. And we're going to try to build up to an Aqua Tail. Of course, before we are able to get to the Aqua Tail, Mewtwo should be able to get to its Psy Strike first. Now the trick is you take the first Psy Strike to the face. No problem, just let it go through. Then you go for the Aqua Tail. So after, if the Aqua Tail does indeed go through, the Mewtwo should be uh, brought down to the point where you can farm down the rest of its HP with just pure Dragon Tails. However, before that, it is going to be able to get to a second Psy Strike which you will then shield. It's very important that you shield the second Psy Strike. Um, you wanna maintain lead advantage, this is how you do it. So now um, we're gonna just be able to Dragon Tail down the rest of the Mewtwo's HP. We have an Aqua Tail ready to go for whatever they're gonna bring in. And they decide to bring in a Dialga. So we're gonna go for a quick Aqua Tail here, just to do as much damage as possible before we are farmed down all the way. Of course, the Alga is going to be able to farm us down with these Dragon Breath very quickly. But this is where Excadrill comes in because I think Excadrill is one of the best Pokemon to pair with a Palkia. It handles most of its common weaknesses being Steel types like Melmetal, uh, Dialga, of course, and Metagross. So now we're going to go for the first drill run. Of course, my opponent is going to quickly swap out into a Melmetal. So they were running a team of Mewtwo, Dialga, and Melmetal. Excadrill is going to drill run both of them. And, but for this uh, particular scenario, we're going to quickly swap out our Excadrill to the Mewtwo. We're going to save this Excadrill for the uh, Dialga in the back. Very important that we keep a good counter for the Dialga. So here we are going to be hit with a Rock Slide from the Melmetal. And the trick is we want to build up to a Psy Strike as soon as possible. So since Mewtwo is a very powerful Pokemon, it is going to win most of the CMP ties in the... Um, open master league uh, against other pokemon besides other mewtwo of course so here my opponent is going to bring back in their dialga we're trying to build up some energy here but they're going to be able to get to their iron head we're just going to let the iron head go through and take out our um mewtwo and then we're going to bring in our excadrill now we both have one shield each so the trick is all we need to do is we need to get to two drill runs. Of course, here my opponent is going to be going for another Iron Head. We're going to have to definitely shield that. We do not want to get hit with an Iron Head. Uh, so first drill run is going to go through. Will my opponent shield this? Of course they will. If they don't, they're going to be taken out. Uh, so first drill run isn't going to go through. But the great thing about extra drill is it can get to those drill runs so quickly. It's crazy. We should be able to get to the second drill run, which we do. And now my opponent is going to be uh, taken out. My opponent's last Pokemon, that is. And that is a very good first game to my opponent there. So now for the second matchup, we are going to be facing off against another Mewtwo lead. So just like before, we're just going to build up these Dragon Tails. And we are going to go for the Aqua Tail. Same strategy as before. We want to go for these Aqua Tails and bring this Mewtwo down to the point where we can farm down the rest of its HP. Of course, we, it is going to be able to get to two side strikes before we are able to completely do that. So here we are just going to let uh, or we're going to be shielding the first side strike. It seems that my opponent managed to build up to two here, so we're just going to be letting them hit us with one. That is the most important thing. We want to make sure they only hit us with one. And now we're just going to use this opportunity to build up to another Aqua Tail. So here my opponent quickly swaps out into their Togekiss. There's a bit of a lag in the game, which doesn't allow me to uh, make split-second decisions. Uh, 
even though I tried to swap out a bit earlier, the Togekiss still came in and was able to take us out. Either way, we're going to go in for Excadrill. Excadrill handles fairy-type Pokemon like Togekiss, Sylveon, and Gardevoir quite nicely and is another uh, type of counter. Well, fairies are, of course, another type of counter for Palkia, which Excadrill does uh, deal well with. So here, uh, we're going to shield the first attack, and then what we're going to do is we're going to build up to two uh, charge move sets. First one is going to be a Rock Slide with our Excadrill, and as soon as my opponent brings in their second Pokemon, we're going to go for an immediate Drill Run. It seems my opponent brings back their Mewtwo, so here comes the Drill Run. We want to make sure we take Mewtwo out as soon as possible. Mewtwo is a very annoying Pokemon. We do not want it to be there for long. Especially if they do have access to Shadow Ball, we could be in a bit of trouble. So here we are going to be going for another drill run and this should be enough to take out my opponent's Mewtwo quite nicely. Um, so here we are going to be building up to a drill run versus my opponent's uh, Garchomp. To do as much damage to this Garchomp is very important. We want to make sure we do as much damage as possible. And now my opponent using their final shield, we're going to be able to quickly come in with our Mewtwo, swap out the Exodrill, and go for a quick side strike, taking out my opponent's Garchomp and winning us the second game of the set. Very good game to my opponent there. Uh, very nice matches. So here for the next match, we are going to be facing off against a Dragon Tail Garchomp. How do I know it's Dragon Tail? because I played this matchup. These are pre-recorded matches. Um, and as you can see here, Dragon Tail Garchomp is able to do a lot more damage to us than we as a Dragon Tail Palkia can do to them. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna be going for these Aqua Tails as much as possible. Very important that we go for these Aqua Tails uh, to do as much damage as we can. Of course, it is gonna be able to Dragon Tail us down all the way. We're going to come in with Mewtwo, and Mewtwo uh, is going to be hit with a potential Earth Power Outrage. Or, um, yeah, it is an Earth Power. And now we're just going to use this opportunity to build up energy with our Mewtwo. So let's see what my opponent decides to bring in next. They decide to bring in a Melmetal, and here is where I make a blunder, or let's say I make a misprediction. I go for the Psy Strike, thinking that my opponent is going to be shielding up, uh, but they do not. They do not take the bait, so very, very good play by my opponent there. We're going to be shielding up the uh, Rock Slide, though. And here I decide to go for the uh, Focus Blast instead. And, of course, uh, no, instead of the Focus Blast, I go for the uh, another Side Strike, hopefully trying to get my opponent to use their final shield. Uh, of course they do and here you're about to see what my opponent does it is a very interesting move on their behalf uh, this is why prediction is so important guys it is pretty much 50 percent of the gameplay we're gonna before we are able to get to our uh, focus blast my opponent makes a very nice swap right there catching the focus blast uh, on their own mewtwo so definitely a good play there and i think this is the point where we start to lose just due to that uh, misprediction. Honestly, uh, here my opponent is going to just be going for side strikes against our Exodrills, and we're not going to be able to really bring this back. Maybe we can, let's see. We're going to be going for a drill run, um, and this is going to be enough to take out my opponent's Mewtwo. Now here I could have maybe charged up just a bit more and prepared for the uh, Metal Metal in the back, but I was panicking, wasn't thinking straight here so we're just going to be hit with that superpower and we are going to be taken out by my opponent's superpower here and it seems that they build up a lot more energy because now they are going to be able to get to another superpower right before we're able to get to a side strike with our Mewtwo so we pretty much lose that but I'm not even mad my opponent played pretty well there so good games to my opponent there so for the next match, we are going to be facing off against a Groudon. And now this is a Dragon Tail Groudon. How can I tell? Because you can see here the fast moves it's using is uh, 
dealing super effective damage against our Palkia. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go for the Aqua Tails. Of course, Gar uh, Groudon is going to be able to get to its... Uh, uh, or is going to be able to do a lot more damage with its dra uh, Dragon Tails rather than what we can do with ours. So here my opponent is going to quickly swap out. We're going to go for a quick Aqua Tail and then we are going to swap into our Excadrill. So now that my opponent swapped out into an Excadrill, we are going to go for the Drill Runs. Very important that we go for these Drill Runs. Uh, we want to do as much damage as possible to this uh, Dialga. It isn't going to be shielding the drill runs at all. It's just going to let it go through. And now my opponent is probably going to bring back in their Groudon. So, oh no, instead they bring in a Kyogre. So very interesting here. We're going to go for a quick uh, drill run. And then what we're going to do is we want to um, bring in the Mewtwo right afterwards and go for consecutive side strikes. So here we bring in the Mewtwo, and what I try to do here is I'm going to go for the first side strike. We're going to have to at least shield one of these side strikes, right? So, oh, sorry, one of the Surfs by my opponent's Kyogre. So now my opponent is going to be going for a Surf. We shield that, and we are going to go for a second side strike. Will my opponent uh, shield this? Of course, they're going to have to if they want their, Kyo their Kyogre to survive. Um... So here we're just going to have to shield the second Surf. Now, of course, you do have to remember that there is still a Groudon in the back that we have to deal with. And that's going to be very important to deal with here. So now we're just going to build up enough to, for a side strike. And we're going to quickly swap out and catch the Surf by my opponent. Uh, a Surf by a Kyogre against a Palkia. I think that was undercharged because we are not completely taken out. They're going to quickly bring in their... Groudon. So we're going to come in with our Mewtwo and go for a quick side strike and we're going to be able to take out this Groudon. Probably we will have enough energy to build up to a second side strike to take out the Kyogre in the back and we do since Mewtwo does win most of the CMP ties. So very good game to my opponent there. Very nice match. Uh, sorry guys the camera is lagging a bit so I just got to shake it every now and then just to uh, just to get it working again. Either way, here for the final match of the set, I believe, we are going to be going off against a Kyogre lead. So this is a very good lead for us. We're going to start building up with these Dragon Tails. Opponent is going to swap out into an Exodrill, of course, or sorry, into a Dialga. We're going to swap out into the Exodrill. And here it seems like my opponent decides to surrender. So very, very nice final match there. We get the win. Four out of five matches with this Palkia. Going to quickly catch this um, Stunfisk here. So, yeah, I think I really enjoyed using Palkia in the Open Master League. Would I recommend it? Uh, probably not if you're new. Palkia does take a bit of experience to use. It isn't the most easy Pokemon to run, especially since there are so many counters to it in the Open Master League. Uh, I think it's fun, though. If you have 100%, I would definitely recommend you max it out. Uh, Dragon Tail is the move set to go with. I think I would might replace Fire Blast with Draco Meteor. But besides that, uh, really enjoyed this team. Thank you very much for watching. Um, this uh, <laughs> this Stunfisk is uh, taking quite a while to catch. It's uh, giving me a bit of a struggle. I'm just going to go for a quick catch. If this doesn't catch, I'll probably go for a Silver Pineapp, uh, which I did. Anyway. Thank you for watching my video. This is Fatty and I will see you in the next one.